Uh, welcome to the second week. Uh, yeah, 100% adherence for the, for the first week in terms of um, scores being submitted, but not 100% adherence in terms of our uh, heats and stuff today. So please, even if you're, I'd much rather you put your name down for a heat and then message me late in the day and, and cancel, rather than uh, have the sort of extra people coming on. Um, yeah, so just if you think you may be here Friday, whack those heats down. Uh, so just a couple little housekeeping things before we go through the wad. Uh, just that front door, just try to keep it closed, especially late at night. Uh, got some noise complaints across the road, and I've already been kicked out of one gym, so I don't want to be kicked out of another because of noise. Um, so, yeah, and this is just a fun one. Like, if you saw the open, close, um, in, like, you know, right up that went out, if you judge something and they do something funny or embarrassing, or there's something good that happens, um, or just anything of note, while it's on the you know top of your mind, just email it through to me or the info email, just so we can uh, whack it up. Doesn't have to be true, just has to be worth reading, and that's good to go. Next week is a long weekend, so uh, Monday is actually a public holiday. If you haven't read any of the things that have come out, so there'll be a nine o'clock um, <coughs> Friday night style. Uh, workout going down, so I'll make heats and stuff as per usual, nine o'clock. So if you've got the day off, sweet. Otherwise, yeah, figure yourself out. It'll still be a Friday, but in, on Monday there'll be an eight o'clock normal workout for non-open people, and then from nine o'clock onwards there'll be open time. So get organised for that. Um, just for tonight, so you'll see the clipboards are already out on the ground. There's actually two score sheets as well. Um, so. You'll need to fill out both, chuck them underneath. Um, please make sure name and stuff is on there. Chuck them underneath the clock once they're done. Um, and please leave the scorecard and the pens there. Like we're gonna have to try to like keep things moving tonight pretty well. So don't like go put the clipboard in your car or whatever because then we've lost the next heat. Have a look at the scorecard now if you're not too sure. But um, the, it, you know, it's easy but it's also sort of confusing in a way. The burpees pull ups, they're on there. They're quite easy to count. One, two, three, four, five, or ten. But where, what gets confusing for this is the shuttles. So we'll cover this in a second. But up and back is one shuttle. So I found the easiest way to judge is to sort of stand behind. You know, you can see the shuttle from this end if they get over. Stand here, and every time they get in line with you, that's one. And then just strike off a rep for the ten shuttles, okay? So one, two, three, ten every time. So up and back is one shuttle, okay? So just remember that. Um, then for the burpee pull-ups, you can strike them off, you can count them however you, you want. And we'll cover the standards for that for a second, but just try to keep that, that going. And also like fast transition. So try to, we're gonna really try to keep it quick in between. So as soon as one heat's over, everyone is gonna be judging or be ju you know, or being judged by the same person in the corresponding heats like you've seen last week. So find that person early, like say, say the first heat ends, you've got the judge finishing up their scores, you've got the person, whatever, trying to recover. Next per people, just come on in, find yourself a lane, like um, <coughs> set that up, start getting your thruster ready. The bar can start loaded. It's your responsibility to have a barbell in your lane, loaded to your starting weight, and to have some change nearby ready to go, okay? If, that, if the changes in there, whatever you want, where you think you may go, you've had, had plenty of thrust, heavy thrusters in the last few weeks, few months, so hopefully we've got a pretty good idea. Um, but yeah, you need to get that organized. You need to get your bar. If you need to do any mats or any sort of funky stuff with the pull-up bar, hopefully people have had a little bit of a play with that. Um, yeah, and, and also while that, you know, CrossFit have thrown up a bit of a doozy in terms of, there's no way of really being able to set this up until we get there, so, Hopefully it all runs smoothly and we're able to get through it as best we can and we all find a spot. May have to accept that it's not to the millimeter perfect for your setup. Um, and yeah, it, you know, just sort of do the best we can. You never know if we had a lot of people that are in the same, we might have to just tack a heat on tonight. I know it's annoying, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do the best we can. It's just a, you know, funky one. CrossFit just sort of, yeah, thought it'd be fun. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, we got, oh, we got Mitch and George's last night here tonight, so yeah, yeah they're, they're, uh, they're a big part of the view, so yeah, that's uh, 
So, yeah, that'll be not. But um, yeah, you know, get grilled afterwards, and you can uh, just make sure that they do actually leave and get out of there uh, if you want. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the boring stuff. Um, so we're going to get into the workout. Uh, so there's two parts of the workout today. Hopefully you've already seen. First one, 15 minutes, as many reps as we can. Begins with five burpee pull-ups, and then goes into 10 shuttle runs. Then it goes 10 burpee pull-ups, 10 shuttle runs, 15 burpee pull-ups, 10 shuttle runs, so on and so forth. Same again, same as last week. There's a few different categories, scaling options, sort of stuff going on. Hopefully the people with scaling requirements have contacted their captains and let them know what they need to do. Once again, if you need a different setup or you need a different bar or something, it's your responsibility to set that up or see us and get it. Don't just stand there and the workout starts. I've got the wrong stuff, okay? Cool, so let's do a little bit of a ghost run um, with Liz and you can just see how it's gonna work. So, we've got tape and barbells sort of everywhere. Um, so, ideally, we're gonna have this as our pull up, these is our pull up bars, but you've got a lane. So you've got the option of going either one of these two bars within your lane. Look, if you really want to save the meter and a half, it's going to be a bit of a hassle. You could move your bar, but even if you're doing your burpee you pull up to this one, all you have to do is take a few steps back behind this line and then you can go this way. Okay, but let's do the workout as it would start with, just so people aren't confused. All right, so everyone will start behind this line. Hopefully we'll be all using this one. Three, two, one, go. You've just got to begin there. That's just how it is. Don't have to touch or anything, but you go down to your burpees. So chest, 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 chest to thighs on the ground. As per usual, chest high, everything touches. Don't think anyone should be jumping up. Maybe if you're really, really good at burpees, but jump up and then jump and pull. Get your chin higher than the bar. So in terms of chin higher than the bar, you can imagine there's a line, you know, sort of invisible plane created from the bar that goes out. As long as that chin is somewhere above that position, that's a rep, okay? So jump and pull, um, getting that chin over the bar. Now in terms of finding that standard with the bar, you stick your arms straight up in the air in line with your body, depends how flexible you are. Your thumbs are together and then your fingers uh, must be underneath the bar. So. Elbows must be locked out, knees must be locked out, feet hit with the palace. Let's not do any funky stuff. Uh, some people have actually found slightly higher is better for their swing and their pull up, not getting like too close. You need to get a few mats or you need to find something. But once again, we've got lots of different pull up heights, just probably the one that you use in a workout normally um, is pretty good, but we'll do the best we can, okay? Once again, don't wait until one minute before you heat. In a couple of minutes now, or even if you're in a heat that's not going while well, people are warming up, you can move around and find your spot. So when we head out to a lane, um, we can sort of get out there and go, okay? So, people lifting, sorry? People yeah, yeah, and that's another one actually. Well, in the first heat, while people are doing their thrusters, um, you could quickly come in here and maybe um, get that sort of, okay? So that's, that's the setup, that's the chin over the bar standard. Um, does anyone have any questions on how they work in terms of shut? Oh, so so you you run in, you'll do five chest on the chest on the ground, chin over the bar, pull ups. Then we start our shuttle run. So you don't have to touch at the start. You run. And just, when do you get to stop there? So both feet must be past the line, which is going to be on the blue part, and one hand must touch the down past the line. Then you come back. Touch again, that's one. I know it's confusing. Two is one. Two. So every time they get near you, that's uh, that's a rep. How are we tracking through? Any questions so far? Yeah, just the third one. Was it just a coincidence that her hand and everything were behind that white line? Like, if she obviously gets back, finishes the 10th rep, she gets back here and does her first burpee like this. Yeah and then jumps up, and then she ends up like this. Is that sort of rep, or does she have to be back behind you? can burpee stuff? wherever you want, yeah. yeah, you can, burpee doesn't matter, but where you land for, say, your fifth burpee, if you land here, you've got to get back behind the line and then start running. Exactly, you're not your hands over that line. Right? No, no you, your hands can be wherever you want. You can burpee where, and look, stacking up stuff, both the lines, you can see sort of where they're lined up. If you have to stack stuff up there, um, 
do the best we can, you know, just, you know, some people are going to have to decide whether you want to jump more and do a pull up or if you want to put a mat down and run over the top of the mat, um, it's, it's up to you, it's your, um, your decision there. So, burpee, but once again, if you find this bar is better, like I say, you know, for me, this one's too low, this one's, you know, this one's good, I'll do it here, I'm just going to shuffle back, get over that line, and then start my run, okay? Like, you know, if there's some mic or dance, like, you really have to move this, one. it's going to be, it's going to be hard. This line is here just in case that you know we're in a hostage situation and someone has to run that way, you know, and, and we're going that way. But let's um. Otherwise, I'm going to see the line and I'm going to stop it. Yeah, so it's, it's not a it's not a one and a half minute show. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so floor plan, that's sort of... If you, um, if you fail the pull-up, do you have to redo the whole movement again? Oh, that's a good question, okay? So if you fail the pull-up, you just have to do the pull-up again, okay? So you don't have to do the burpee, you just have to do the pull-up component. But once again, make sure that chin gets higher than the bar. Does anyone have any, any questions on chin getting over the bar? Then we, uh, we were just saying that you could go with that grip or that, yeah? Yeah, you can go any grip you want. Um, and in terms of, like, you know when we do pull-ups, like we've got to start with our arm blocked out, this isn't the case. You can jump into it and go. So uh, we'll talk a little bit of strategy in a second, but we'll just cover standards for now. Uh, Brett, sorry, you had a question? That's it. That's it. Yeah. Standards are, you don't have to touch. On your first and last. Like the start no. and finish of your shuttles, you don't have to touch. So start and finish, start and finish without every single other one touches. So you have to finish, cross the line. finish, you have to cross the line with both feet before you go, okay? Cool. Alrighty, back and pull ups, cover that, chin over the bar, cover that. Shuttles we cover that. Alright, then thruster. So this is definitely gonna happen tonight to someone. So if it's you. Um, that's okay, just do the best, practice, try to avoid it. So, you can do whatever you want to get the bar up. You can power clean it up, um, or you can like squat clean or whatever, cluster sort of thing, as long as you get below parallel, and then finish with the, you know, bar stacked over the shoulders and the feet, okay? You know, getting your head through can sort of definitely help lock it out, but it doesn't necessarily mean um, it's a rep, you know, you gotta, you know, you get the bar over the top. The cut bar can't be out in front like, it'll be like this, and the elbows must be locked. So there's gonna be two main things while you're gonna get a no or three. It's too heavy. Um, but <laughs> it's just too heavy for you. Everyone, it's too, everyone's gonna point where it's too heavy. Number two, you're not gonna get below parallel. So if your depth is sketch, I would probably power clean it first and get settled. Then make sure you get your below. And if you're unsure what depth is, let's can do another squat here and just hold it. So yeah, hip crease. So probably even a touch deeper than that. Yeah, has to be below the top of the knee. If the marble was here, it would sort of roll backwards. Then, cool, and just rest, rest. So that's the first one. Getting below parallel. The second one, that, or the, sorry, the third thing you're gonna get no rep for is jerking the thruster. So, CrossFit Games demo is a great example of them doing that, but they gave it a rep anyway. But, you know, let's make sure we hold ourselves high standards in the best. So, so if your legs rebend at any point as the thrust is going up, that's a, that's a no rep, an immediate no rep, doesn't matter what it has. And so what you really need to focus on when you let it down is it with that thruster is like keeping those elbows up, you know, relax through the hands, tight through the middle. But as you're coming up out of that squat, drive fast, lock the legs out and keep squeezing and make sure those, because yeah, generally it's pretty subtle, like, you might be like coming up and then just there's a little neat bend that goes over the top, but any re-bend of the knees is a no rep on the on the thruster, okay? Andy? How about what happened this morning? Yeah, that was a no rep. That was a no rep, yeah. Well, I think like... Straight legged steps. Yeah, as if you don't... She was like, yeah, and that was step four, yeah. Yeah, he like, as long as like there's no, if you can walk and the angle doesn't decrease, I suppose, but he like went up and one knee re-bent, you know, so that was a, that was not good judging, you know, so they should have announced that that was a, um, you know, killer did, but I don't know if anyone else did. 
Um, okay. A squat clean is okay for the start. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can as long it. as you go straight to the movement, yeah. you can't yeah. you can't clean, stand it up, and then press it. Like <laughs> you, know, you get you get um, you get boss points for that, but you, you don't get uh, spot and then go down. You can clean it and then re-squat and press yeah, it, but you can't. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So in terms of this workout, um, I think you know it looks like there's a lot of running, and you know there is a bit, um, but it's not really about the run. You want to just try and stay smooth and efficient. You know, you've got some practice shuttles over here. Try and get a bit of a rhythm with. I think we did eight meters on Tuesday, so you know it's 20 centimeters off. Sorry, guys, um, but you know pretty close. Um, but just get used to how many steps you want to take. Get used to which hand you turn with. Just find something that's comfortable, but. I think you want to stay relaxed and keep on breathing so when you get to the burpees you can maintain a consistent pace. Save your quads, definitely go that step up version, you know, play around with a few and find where your hands are, like typically it's your hands a bit in front of where the bar is and then stepping up is going to give your optimum place sort of where to be, but use that reference point. In terms of the pull up, look if you're really good at strict pull ups, um, you know, getting into that position, you might be able to go that sort of strict style where you burp you down, step up, jump, and just sort of continue on that jump and get that chin over the bar and then go again. So that's definitely an option, but if your pulling strength isn't that strong, like you sort of only got a couple of strict pull-ups, I probably wouldn't use that version. I would look at using it. It's not much slower. Uh, you don't get so tight. Stepping up, grab on, just have a little bit of a kip chin over the bar and then yeah, there's no lowering component once your chin's on the bar let go and just drop down so i think some sort of little hip hop some sort of kip you can you know you can jump up and go into a mixed grip and pull yourself up there um that's all good i think but yeah so staying steady just like any 15 minute workout just keep a consistent pace in terms of the thrust up like we said before have a, a starting weight Loaded. That, that should be like maybe, I reckon, 60% ish of your 1RM. Maybe about 60% uh, of your 1RM. Something that I think it's just to get the movement going. Like if it's too heavy, I think it's going to feel, the first one's going to feel terrible regardless. So you just need to get a thruster in, like get yourself in the motion, uh, and then sort of build up. So make sure you've got some approximate changes ready. Um, and then you know, you've got, you know, probably it's going to be somewhere between three and four goes at the thruster. It's going to take probably a minute until you even get an attempt in. Um, you can switch out shoes, change pants, change whatever, um, do whatever you want to do in between. But obviously, the clock will just be counting up. You can't, well, if you wanted to stop the workout early, you could, I suppose, but you can't pick the bar. And yeah, if you're just sitting around doing nothing or cheering crew, or you're done for the night, congregating in this sort of area, like even when we get to the thrusters, there's nothing going on here. So we can sort of come in close and it would be really useful to be able to have like people to load that bar and help that person. You can just let them know, hey, chuck on a 1.25 or chuck on a, a whatever plate and we can sort of help each other out. Don't get, don't use the good rogue knee clips that we've got. The, pretty hard to, you know, it's only one rep, you don't need the collars to be on, but collars must be on and the plates must be inside the collars, you can't have plates outside the collars, otherwise they don't count. Um, yeah. So if they go across and... You just gotta push them across. Yeah, just, yeah, just. If they don't get over the line, come back, come back, and then just make sure they get over the line uh, with a touch, okay? Um, is anyone, has anyone else seen anything that I've forgotten? Like any any standards or, or questions or queries? I do have a question. Yeah. In terms of the leaderboard, is the master the tiebreaker? They're two separate workouts. Two separate workouts. So one is the reps that they get, and one is the weight that you get. In the case that somebody lifts the same weight as you, whoever had the, the Better score on part A will be first on the last Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Like, don't even worry about that. Just go as fast as you can. Alright, crew, hopefully, Heat 1 have got their pull up bar ready. We're going to start Heat 1 in about two minutes. If you're a judge, make sure you find your lane, find your lane.